Hey, what's going on, my fellow collectors? Jim here. In today's video, let's just have some fun. Let's have some uh, nostalgia. Let's go back to the 1990s. So, uh, I got a couple of 94 Toy Biz X Men figures, uh, the Phoenix Saga, and then I have a 96 Polaris X Men figure, which honestly, when I opened this, these are Christmas presents that I got. Uh, when I opened this up, this cardboard, I don't remember this at all. So, I don't know where I was during that time. And then I even got some pretty cool um, unopened Batman Returns Tops trading cards. So, these are, you know, 1991 Tops trading cards. So, um, it, uh, all of us who grew up in the 90s remember trading cards. I mean, that was a huge thing. And I definitely remember having all of these. Who knows where they are now? So that was just a really neat little nostalgia thing that I got. So very cool. My daughter actually opened up one pack, so we'll go through that. But yeah, I mean, let's just take a look at some of this stuff. This is awesome. I mean, this is really going back to, you know, the good old days of, um, you know, action figures, man. You know, I would like to see uh, Hasbro maybe do uh, some retro figures with this style package. Because I think a lot of us collectors, you know, remember this style package. Now, they did give us this, you know, the, the retro card, which I think a lot of us remember. Which um, I, I did do like a little bit of looking around online and try to figure out which years. And apparently these all came out in, in, in the same kind of years, all under that like uncanny line. I don't know, I'm no expert, I just collected the damn toys, but um, this Phoenix Saga, I guess, is what I missed, because what I remember more from this card back was, like, uh, Colossus that came with the, uh, you know, dumbbells, you know, later on down the line, we got the Professor X in the hover chair, we got the original uh, Cyclops that had the white stripes, we got the Cyclops that had the little um, mechanism where it's... Uh, head being uh, lit up you know we had th that original wolverine that was that was a classic one that came with a little mask that clipped on his face and uh th this one had the same kind of like mechanism for the claws so that was pretty cool yeah just great stuff man very nostalgic but here we have the x-men phoenix saga this is the gladiator so for those of you who uh, you know are, are new to collecting the uh, Marvel Legends, you guys probably seen this guy. He came out in one of the more recent waves. But yeah, this is what we had back in the 90s. Um, I personally don't think I ever picked up this figure. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, as far as I, I mean, the condition. And I even asked, my parents actually got these for me for Christmas because they're, uh, they live down in Florida and there's a lot of antique shops down there and they love going into antique sh shops. So they're always like constantly sending me pictures whenever they find action figures. And it's more or less this stuff because, I mean, this stuff was so mass produced that really, you know, I mean, I did, I did a quick search on eBay and I mean, um, even like pristine boxes were like 15 to 35, you know, box it was very very low price so i hope they didn't pay more than that for these but the condition on this one is actually not too bad i mean there is some bending down here but uh this was the better packaging so i'm going to go ahead and keep this in package but yeah look at that look at that x-men senatorial look at the bishop figure it's funny because that looks almost more like the new one that we just got and then we got the blackbird jet and here's some of the um, figures within this line yeah, this must have been a line that I just kind of, um, kind of passed up on because I just more or less wanted the original characters. So this must have been like ventured off into something else, maybe more comic book stuff. There's the uh, Beast figure. I don't know if that was like the original Beast figure or not. But yeah, just great stuff. And of course, you know, with the action figures back in the '90s, they all came with. Uh, you know, these kind of, you know, push the lever on the back for the powerful action punch. And that's cool because that's what we grew up on as kids. A lot of the toys back then had that kind of feature where you would either squeeze the legs or do something to the figure that would make it, you know, move. But yeah, he looks pretty good in packaging. And again, I mean, the, 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 the card back is just really cool. And then we have the... X-Men uh, Phoenix Saga, the Slashing Space Armor, the 8th edition Space Wolverine, which I honestly do not remember. I don't remember this figure at all. Uh, the packaging on this one was a little bit more beat up, so I went ahead and opened it up just so we would have something to look at. C coming from the same exact line, everything on the back is the same. 
Um, it does have the slashing space armor, so that's pretty cool. And that's how the original um, figure worked as far as, you know, just your standard brown suit Wolverine. So I did open him up in a way that I could put him back in the packaging, of course. And then you, you know, some of these, we got these old, you know, ultra uh, FLIR cards. I just went over the checklist of um, all the figures, so it's pretty cool. But yeah, so let's pop this bad boy out, take a little look at him. So here he is, man. The X-Man Space Wolverine. I guess this was some kind of comic or something. I mean, I, I was reading the comics back then. I just don't remember Space Wolverine. But I, I think this is awesome. I love that he's wearing the tiger suit. So this is pretty cool. I mean, you can see a pretty decent little head sculpt on there. Some nice little sculpting details. You know, I mean, this, you know, this for us, you know, growing up when we were kids, man, this was just so awesome to see them kind of develop. Now, it looks like this claw is broken, but how this kind of worked is it was basically just a kind of spring-loaded mechanism that, you know, would come up here and then clip off, and then when you did this, it would pop the claws out. So that was always very cool. This one goes back in place. This one, I don't know what's going on with this one. It's, I guess it's broken or something because it doesn't want to stick in place. But um, as you can see, Wolverine is just basically wearing this space suit. I'm sure it came from some, you know, comic somewhere along the legs. This is back when they were still using the clear pegs, as you can see. So that's, that's kind of interesting. So yeah, I mean, this was what we were used to. They, um, they're not very tall. I brought out my, um, what was this, like 80s? Um, Doctor Doom figure because this was like one of my go-to figures when I would play with figures you know back in the day so you can see that he's definitely a little bit taller than the Doctor Doom which man we need a new Doctor Doom we, we we've got to get an upgrade to this guy sometime please but um let's see what does he measure out to it looks like he is about um, about five inches five inches tall so that's a little bit standard and he does have all this bulky space gear on the articulation was pretty simple he basically just had swivel at the arms uh, you had swivel at the legs so you know he could sit down because back then vehicles were a big thing you do have a single bend at the knee and that was about it you know the head will rotate that's it so the articulation wasn't you know as updated as it is nowadays but it's still cool just to you know, go back and look at some of this stuff. And here's the helmet you could put on him. So you could have Wolverine out in space. So very, very neat. Very cool figure. I'm sure, you know, a lot of a lot of you older collectors would definitely remember this. Now, this is one that I just personally don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember this card back. Um, this also was included with a card. But here is Polaris, and she has her power uppercut, which comes with a little cool little machine gun looking thing there. Just to give you some, a look at her, you know. They definitely come a long way, but still have some work with their female characters that they need to, you know, improve on. And this is actually 1996, so this card back is a little bit more, um, you know, nostalgia feeling for me because, you know, we got Gambit and all up here. So there's Gambit, and there's that original um, Cycloc, and then Juggernaut, and then Nightcrawler. Now I don't know if that's the Nightcrawler that I that I had, because I know they came out with you know different years, different editions. Like I don't really remember that accessory for the Gambit that I had. And then down here we have you know just different renditions of Cyclops, the Magneto, Apocalypse, Weapon X. Uh, yeah, so very cool. Some other figures in the line there. And then what's neat about this one is it kind of shows off the headquarters playset, which was a big, big thing back in the day. Uh, I was more DC growing up, superpowers, um, you know, so I had like the Hall of Justice. So I don't think I ever got this specific thing as a kid, even though I did collect a lot of the X-Men Uncanny uh, figures, you know. I pretty much had, you know, the main characters that we that we all loved. Um, I, this looks familiar. I don't know if I ever had this. Maybe it was just a friend that had it. But there's that Blackbird. And then Wolverine even had his own little Jeep there. And this one is, not, you know, from 1996. So that's pretty cool. 
But yeah, she has this left arm, you know, locked down and you push up for a super tough uppercut. So that's really cool. So I'll probably just, you know, leave those on card. Just hang them up in the toy room, have some fun with them. I did pull Wolverine out of the package just so we had something to look at here. So I'll probably stand him on the shelf. But yeah, let's take a look at these 1991 DC Comics Batman Returns cards. Man, look at that. That takes you back, doesn't it? Makes you feel old. But yeah, I, I definitely had, I think, every single one of these cards. I remember going to uh, hobby shops and picking these up. I guess they probably sold them at like Kmart and stuff like that. Or um, I don't know if they had them at KB Toys. But, um, you know, there, back then there was card shops. And, you know, I, I was more into uh, collecting sports cards, basketball mainly. But, you know, I, I, I'm, I've always been a huge Batman fan. So I did collect um, these cards as well. So let's take a look at the open pack that my daughter <laughs> just happened to open up. But this is what you would get. You would get kind of like one fancy card. So in this pack, we got the, you know, rooftop scene of Catwoman fighting Batman. So that's pretty cool. Now on the back, you got the, I mean, like the old school top stadiums club logo. I'll just give you some in-depth stuff and give you a little read up. So that's pretty cool. We got Tim Burton in this one. That's really, really cool. And then of course, the rest of the cards looked like this. So yeah, I'm sure that I'm sure that's bringing back some mem memories for some of you guys out there. But yeah, you just basically had the standard card that kind of had this, you know, border, and you had the bats on the back, and then you had the, you know, Gotham City. And of course, obviously, just like anything, just pictures of the film. So here we have Roar of the Batman. All of the back of the cards looked like this. They had this blue and red, and of course, a little bit of a read up and the number. So that, that brings back memory to the back of the cards. This one we have the What Do You Want? Right before he headbutts her or she headbutts him. We have the All Hell Breaks Loose. That's a cool card actually. We have Lashing Out. We have Feline on the Prowl. We have an aerobic surprise when the Guy stole the baby and did that flipping and jumped in the sewer. We have the counterattack. That's in the beginning of the film where the Batmobile, you know, pushed the little thing down and turned around and then fired at that clown and took off. Turning on the crowd. So when Penguin started shooting everybody up in the crowd. But yeah, that's it. So what was this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards in total. I kind of want to open the other pack just to see, but I figured, uh, yeah, I mean, real, like nowadays, these things aren't worth anything, you know, these things, I mean, the entire card market in general uh, just took, you know, a huge dump whatever year that they just kind of fell off. It just, man, so many people invested in it, and if you sold out at, at the right time, you know, you did great. If you didn't, you're pretty much just stuck with probably tubs and tubs and binders uh, like I am of, of, you know, sports cards or any kind of cards like that. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to make that quick little video, you know, bringing some nostalgia back. So these are pretty cool, you know. Like I said, this is what we grew up on, man, back in the 90s. So as you can see, there's a big difference between, you know, the Wolverine here compared to, you know, what we're getting nowadays with, with Hasbro, with all the articulation and everything like that. And I mean, I remember this card back too. That's what I was kind of like looking up a little bit before here, because I remember the uncanny line, you know, again, like I said, yeah, I remember the original brown suit Wolverine that had the same kind of, you know, slash action here with the claws. Uh, that was a great one. It had the mask you kind of clip on his face. Um, I definitely remember, you know, um, Nightcrawler and Cyclops and um, Professor X and different versions, um, you know. I mean, at that time, I was still, in 1992, I was 10. So, I mean, at that, at that time, I, I, was, I, I was seriously collecting at that time, you know. 
So, I mean, I was still taking stuff out of the packaging, leaving some stuff in the packaging, picking up, you know, when you're, when, when you're that age, you know, it's, it's your parents getting you this stuff. So it was like just kind of luck of the draw if you were able to talk them into uh, walking into like KB Toys or something when when your mom, mom or dad was dragging you to the mall for whatever, you know. Or if you weren't buying like, you know, old, you know, Sega, Nintendo games. But, um, yeah, so it's really cool that Hasbro is doing, you know, these retro-carded figures. It does kind of suck for people that want to keep it on card and people who want to take it out because it almost makes you want to buy two. So what I, what I basically always do is just kind of cut so I can always put them back into the package because that's what it's really all about. But I would love to, I would love to see Hasbro bring this package back because I think there was a lot of, you know, us that collected you know this style as well because this was a huge huge line that pumped out a lot of figures as well before it turned into kind of like this old this this style card back and everything goes falling of course yeah guys i just wanted to you know give everybody a little blast to the past and just give a uh, everybody a nostalgia fix you know before the next review yeah, that was a look at some of the cool pickups that I got from Christmas. Again, this is really neat stuff. And, and again, you can you know take Wolverine, put him back in the package, put his helmet back in there. What I usually tend to do is just take a little razor blade and just kind of cut along the side. It's probably better to cut on the bottom. But again, this package was already kind of beat up. And again, really, these figures aren't worth that much nowadays. I mean, they're pretty cheap. You will see, you know, some on eBay that have, like, cases wrapped around them. And they're, like, really mint condition. They might be a little bit high in price. But really, it's not that worth it. Unless you're just a hardcore collector. Because you could always find a cheap version. That's what I did with all of my, you know, figures that I used to play with. I just kind of went on eBay and just looked at just buying them loose and used. Because, again, I mean, just having it in hand just gives you that nostalgia factor, even though he's missing all of his accessories. But, yeah, Dr. Doom, Hasbro, we need a new Dr. Doom figure, an awesome one. That would be just so cool. Because he was one of uh, one of my favorites Um growing up i mean this this figure right here i just remember man had so much or not this particular figure because this wasn't the one that i grew up with but you know i remember him and like firestorm uh you know of course batman and robin because I, I again i had a lot of superpower stuff but then i did collect a lot of the uncanny x-men line which was you know during these years as well so yeah very cool i just figured you know just give that little you know blast to the past have a little fun here in this video uh, here in Maryland, check this out. Man, look at this mess. Let's take a break from this and let's walk over here. Let me show you what we're dealing with man, out here in Maryland. Look at this. Look at that mess. My gosh. So, yep, yeah, it is snowy outside. So, yeah, it looks like we got probably about six inches of snow, I believe. So, that's going to be fun. So. Delal is definitely going to want to go outside and play in the snow, and I'm going to have to go do some shoveling. I'm still working on my top 10 action figures of the year. But yeah, the videos will keep on coming, guys. But I just wanted to give you this fun one little blast of the past. Give all of us older guys a little bit of nostalgia feeling and also make us feel like man we are getting old but that was the video guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next figure review Take